hi hi guys it's rana from onlineran.com and so um, let's go to my uh, slide we have covered um, a complete series of uh, how we can uh, manage a uh, zikitiko software attendance software and uh, Mm, this is uh, goes all to nine to ten videos, I think so. And I'm now I'm gonna to wrap up what we have achieved in that series. I think it will be a summary of what we have did. And uh, okay, uh, first let's move to our diagram um, because we have a scenario of uh, head office in Dubai and branch office is New York City. And we have connect to that device uh, through economical and uh, cheap way. So the simple is that you, you have to take a static IP, a live IP on that router, and you have to forward that port on that router to this uh, to your machine IP. And we have did that. We make our uh, port 154370 to that 192.168.1.10. So it's an internal uh, IP address of that router, LAN IP of that router and it's a, a static IP of that router. So which is uh, my, have, my IP is 192.191.1 so and so on. Okay this is the main idea and we have established that idea and build our uh, scenario and maintain all, all that. So. Uh, let's move to our software and for a brief summary so first you have to add your device add new device edit uh, you can edit your current device suppose yes when you when you want to add device give the name and machine number and your connection ethernet IP address port number and communication key and all that when your machine is connected so you can connect it select by selecting it so my still my machine is connected so you can disconnect right click and disconnect and after that you can connect it when your machine is connected the second part is you know you have to create your department and employees and for that you have to just go to department list add your main department sub account sub department and uh, what else you require and when you added your department and you have to give uh, employees you have to add employees in that department very simple so you can add your employees in that in your departments and uh, when your employees are added and you have to make timetable so we have make a two timetable daytime and night time there has two shifted two timetables and when we have get timetables are created we have created our day shifts and night shift two shifts any shifts that you want you can create it as per your requirement so we have created our shifts and now we have assigned our employees to that shape which shifts are required so number one first one is, is a default shift is a day shift and second one is a night shift so uh, I have two employees I have Alex to sign a night shift and Rana which means I am assigned a day shift so shift is are assigned and employee scheduling that's we have scheduled the employee so the next one is uh, maintenance machine and how we can download attendance log download user information upload so when we have created our employees we have to push that employees to that machine just go to upload your user info on that machine go to your company select your user which user you required all user or one user just select and upload your machine so make sure what else data you want to shoot user info fingerprint or only user info so when you push your data obviously you want to <coughs> some way to download a data to delete it from machine so uh, browse your data in that machine it will be downloading all the data you can see all the data is selected inward which one we want to delete and so this one 
and if I want to delete a finger, face, or anything, a complete information delete user. So we have created the user, and this third one is download retainer. Still, we have no a low count, so you can download your retainer. Select your machine and download retainer log. Reading data, no log is found. Okay. Other than we have account manager for machine, we can configure our machine through software. You can set your IPs, tennis function, and you can power off, power on device information. You can get current status of your device, what is a current log, a current user, current capacity. So you can make it. And so this one, and at the end, you can import your data, export your data, and you can make a database, a backup of your database. And this software has an option you can embed its SDK with an external uh, software that you have. So it's an option, give you an option, make an SQL link, uh, ODBC, and next give you SQL username as a SQL password and select your computer. If it is on a network, select your computer and give you credential and all the database that you have created on that server will be appeared and select database and connect your database this thing will be do a developer so it's not our case uh, I hope it makes sense so, that's all and let's move to our slides mm. I think all the things have been covered now okay so that's all from my side I thank for watching I thank for your giving a precious time and if you like my videos and if you think this is an informative for you and you have learned something from that video uh, kindly share it please share it with your friend and um, you like um, you may like my youtube channel online rana and facebook online rana and you may go to my website uh, for other tutorials because i have created on uh, web development and uh, microsoft development products and linux and uh, all that stuff you can go and just watch and please make comments and if you want feedback uh, for me you may email me on rana.shadat.outlook.com I will take your emails and will respond to your emails. What help you have required, you can email me. I will definitely uh, give you a feedback. So take care. Bye bye.